The sixth session of the U.N. Environment Assembly has kicked off at the U.N. Environment Program headquarters here in Nairobi, Kenya. World leaders and over 5,000 representatives from government, civil society, and the private sector are expected at the five-day conference that ends on Friday. The U.N.'s Environment Chief says the conference will mainly focus on how multilateralism can help solve climate change, biodiversity loss, and pollution. Inger Anderson explains that it is about highlighting incoming dangers to the planet and taking preemptive measures. Irrespective of where we live, if you are polluted in Asia, then I'm polluted next door. Uh, if, uh, if we have loss of biodiversity, it's a global loss to humanity. If we use too much pollution in our waterways, or if we overfish in our oceans, or if plastics go into the oceans, need not come from Kenya, but it could wash up on Kenya's shores. The point is, the only way we can solve some of these problems is by talking together. And talking together is what multilateralism is. CGTN's Wilkinson Nyaba is currently at the UNEP headquarters in Nairobi and joins us live for more. Wilkinson, welcome to the program. Wilkinson, leaders and delegates from around the world are gathering in Nairobi for this important meeting. What's the latest from this UN Environmental Assembly? Thank you, Richard. Well, we did see today uh, that there have been a number of side conversations and discussions in the run-up to today, but today we did see the opening plenary of the sixth session of the United Nations Environment Assembly. What this essentially means is that this morning we did see a number of leaders, global leaders as well as regional leaders from across the African continent, as well as heads of environmental associations, uh, heads of different organizations all meeting here different delegates to discuss the way forward how to tackle what they're calling the triple planetary crisis which is essentially uh, tackling loss of biodiversity climate change as well as uh, just tackling waste especially plastic waste and pollution and therefore we did see leaders basically sitting down to discuss what how exactly they're going to approach the five days they have ahead of them to tackle a number of this discussions, what their expectations are, outlining what kind of outcomes they would like to see and how to arrive at that, basically drawing the broad strokes of what they would like to see happen here, uh, what are some of the policies they'd like to hear, what are some of the issues that they'd like to discuss. And afterwards, they did go into smaller meetings where they're now breaking down those issues into the smallest, most basic elements, discussing issues such as basically sustainable change. Uh, tackling issues such as uh, fossil fuels and the, their impact really on the region. We do know that African countries have said that they really bear the brunt of this. We do know that they did have uh, the inaugural Africa Climate Summit last year and that this has basically guided their viewpoint as they come into this, what they're prepared to ask for, what they would like to do. And when they talk about multilateralism, basically ensuring that they work together, everybody contributing to addressing some of these challenges for an outcome that basically benefits everyone. Richard. All right, Wilco, sir, in light of what you've just said, what would you say are the key, key priority areas for this year's UNEA, and what should we expect in the coming days? Well, the key priority areas, of course, they have spoken about wanting to tackle loss of biodiversity, uh, climate change, as well as plastic pollution or just waste in general. And so in those five days, they will be trying to come up with very specific solutions, knowing that uh, different parts of the world, different regions, different countries are impacted differently depending on their specific challenges. So for example, one of the issues that they are hoping to address is to come up with an instrument that tackles plastic waste and especially the use of single-use plastics, uh, dealing with the circular economy, which means when the si uh, single-use plastics come into the market that they're not discarded immediately after use that they're able to be recycled that they're able to be put to different use because we do know once plastics enter into the environment it's very hard to get rid of so those are some of the things that they will be discussing essentially what they do say is that they want to 
be able to come up with policies that make a difference to the people who are most impacted by this. We do know that already uh, a number of communities, a number of countries are already saying they feel the brunt in droughts that have gone on very long in uh, the El Nino, for example, that has affected parts of Africa and basically the whole world feeling it. Therefore, the idea being to come up with an idea that rolls back some of uh, the impact and the effects that can already be felt while also ensuring that they are safeguarding the planet, ensuring that this does not happen again and ensuring that basically we are able to keep uh, the planet safe and that everyone involved is able to keep the planet safe for future generations in very sustainable ways. Richard. All right, Wilkerson Yaba in Nairobi.